challenges with mental health and suicide are not uncommon. Many young people feel depressed, stressed, or pressured by what's happening in their lives. Not knowing how to cope, they become overwhelmed. For many, these powerful feelings of helplessness and hopelessness can lead to thoughts of suicide because they don't see any other way out of their problem. The right help from friends, family, faculty, and others, leading them to professional help when necessary, can not only rekindle hope for those in despair, but can also change the course of their lives. It can be life-saving help. Our goal today is to empower you with mental health first aid tools and strategies to help those who are suffering. This video will educate you on the key warning signs of mental health distress and suicidal behavior. It will also provide tips on how to initiate the right conversation, often one of the most difficult steps in supporting someone. With these simple tools, you will be better prepared to really, really help. To set the scene for you, Amber and Mike are good friends of Jamie. Mike has been noticing a number of changes in Jamie's behavior over the last few weeks. These changes worry his friend Mike. And they scored a fifth goal in the last minute. Our guys couldn't stop them at all. It was pretty embarrassing. That sucks. Yeah, without Jamie it's going to be rough this season. What do you mean, without Jamie? I already quit the team. Just stopped showing up for practice. I guess someone on the team found him in his dorm room and he said he just didn't want to play anymore. You gotta be joking. Jamie. Honestly, I'm, I'm really not too sure. It's too bad though, they'll miss him. He's always one of our best playmakers. Hey, there he is now, why don't you just ask him? Jamie! Jay, aren't you talking to us? Hey guys. Amber was just saying that you quit the hockey team. What's up? Don't feel like playing anymore. You love hockey. Yeah, you're one of the best players on the team. Yeah. Too late. Gave away my gear already. You gave away your gear? What's going on? I never see you at meals anymore. Not even in class. Even when you do show up, it's like you're not there. You're spaced out. What's going on? Nothing is going on. Got a new girlfriend. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't sound like nothing. I'm worried. The last couple of weeks, it's like I don't know you. I'm just worried. Nothing to worry about. Just stuff. Stuff? Like what? Come on, Jay. We are worried about you. Hey, Mike. Leave the guy alone. You'll be fine in a few days, won't you, Jamie? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Nothing will help anyway. What do you mean nothing will help? What's going on, Jamie? Talk to me, man. I told you. Nothing. Nothing is happening. Just leave it alone. I'll deal with it. Told you. Girl troubles. Amber. I can't leave it alone, man. Now, tell me, us, what has got you so down? Maybe we can help. I'm just tired, Mike. Tired of it all. Just not gonna change. I told you guys, I'll deal with it. Tired of it all? I'm not so sure you can deal with this by yourself. Please, let us help you. Leave me alone. I don't want Help. I'm concerned. I'm scared even. In all the time that I've known you, I've never seen you like this. I've got to ask, Jamie. Have you considered suicide? What? Suicide? Come on, he's not that stupid. You would never do that, would you, Jamie? It isn't about being stupid. It's about feeling hopeless and so down that the things that used to matter stop mattering. So, no, this isn't stupid, Amber. He's missing classes, skipping meals, 
not hanging with friends, giving away his stuff, quitting hockey. That's what it is, Jamie, isn't it? You're feeling hopeless and thinking that things will never change, so what's the point? Jay, is that how you feel? Mike, what are you talking about? Well, sometimes. Come on, Jamie, not you. Anyone can think about suicide. Anyone. Even the strongest of people can feel overwhelmed sometimes and think that suicide is the only way out. That's it, isn't it? I've always been so good at everything. Everybody expects me to be the best. The best at school. The best at sports. The best. And I'm exhausted. I can't deal with the pressure anymore. Honestly, I can't even think straight anymore. When I study, I read the same page over and over again. And I can't remember what I just read. I can't seem to get out of bed sometimes. I barely have the energy to get on my gear, let alone play hockey anymore. Let everybody down. Just a big disappointment to everybody. So, you have been thinking about suicide. Jamie, like Mike said, we're worried. And we're here for you. Have you thought about how you would do it? Well, when I drink, sometimes I think about getting really drunk and driving really fast down the highway into a truck or off a bridge or something. But you hardly drink. Have you tried doing that? No. Just thought about how easy it would be. Have you attempted suicide any other time? No. I thought about it once, a long time ago. I don't remember why, though. Jamie, this sounds serious. We want to help. Jamie, the feelings that you have of hopelessness, the exhaustion, the suicidal thoughts, there is help. People do get help, get well, and things do get better. The fact that you're telling us how you're feeling shows that you don't want to die. Now, have you told anyone else how you're feeling? No. No. No one. And you guys have to promise me that you won't tell anybody either. Sure, Jamie, we uh, won't. No, we can't make that kind of promise. I'd rather have you mad at me than have you dead. Dead? Dead. If we don't get you some help, that's how you might end up. No way am I not doing something. He's right, Jamie. You're too important to us. We don't, can't think of you killing yourself. You do the same for us, right? Jay, let us help you, please. All right. Good. How about if we talk to your parents? God, no. But maybe I could talk to Coach. Unless he's still pissed at me. I can trust him. Let's go see him now. I don't know. Can we go tomorrow? What about if we saw him now? The sooner we go get help, the better. Yeah, we can go with you to the health services office tomorrow. And in the meantime, you can call one of those helplines or crisis lines, whatever they're called. Posters outside the library. I don't know about that. That's okay. One step at a time. We'll go see your coach now, and if you need it, later tonight, we can call Kids Help Phone. It's not just for kids. It's for people our age, too. I learned that in my mental health first aid training. They have 24-7 counselors, and it's all confidential. Like Am said, their posters are all around. We'll write down the numbers on the way to see your coach, and if you need to talk to someone who knows more about suicide, and you can't get a hold of one of us, you can call one of them. Yeah, I didn't know I could call someone to get help. I guess we could do that. Now, 
Has drinking been part of your plan to cope? I guess. I learned in my course that when people are thinking about suicide, any drugs or alcohol can sometimes make them act on those thoughts. So let's be smart. I'll give you a drive if you need a lift. Might make sense, Jamie. Okay. I promise I won't drink. And yeah, we can call the helpline. Great. So just to make sure we're good, repeat to us what you have just agreed to. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's part of the drill, right? Okay, let's see. We'll go talk to Coach. And while we're waiting to talk to him, I'll call the 24-hour helpline. I'll get the number and the health services number. Mike, you'll drive me back to res in my car. And if I need to talk to somebody tonight, I'll call one of you guys or the 24-hour line. Oh yeah, I forgot. Do I need to call my parents too? That would be a great idea. I think my mom has picked up on my mood. But my dad has no clue. Maybe she can help me tell him. Oh, and I promise I won't drink until I'm feeling better. Right? Good. So, let's go see your coach. Let's go. I never see wet meals anymore. Not even in class. Even when you do show up, it's like you're not there. You're spaced out. What's going on? Sometimes I think about getting really drunk and driving really fast down the highway into a truck or off a bridge or something. Feelings that you have of hopelessness, the exhaustion, the suicidal thoughts. There is help. People do get help, get well, and things do get better. We'll go see your coach now, and if you need it, later tonight, we can call Kids Help Phone. It's not just for kids, it's for people our age too. When people are thinking about suicide, any drugs or alcohol can sometimes make them act on those thoughts. So let's be smart. 